What's good my people, S Crab Blends back again with another barber tutorial. Today we have my man Dwight in the chair. Last time I cut Dwight, man, we really got some views on the video. Actually, it's my most viewed video of all time. As you can see, I started out just combing the hair, going with the grain, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with my low pro clippers with the number one on them fully closed so we're gonna go ahead and go with the grain as well as you can see he has some waves up top not too much on the side or the back uh, we weren't really going too much for that wave look we're just knocking everything down nice and smooth and clean and uh, as you can see there's some old lines in the back but we're gonna freshen th those up that's kind of like his signature style where we put the little lines in the back something that i've tried to stay away from lately is putting my first guideline in with my trimmers so i've just been doing that with my clippers lately i feel like it just saves me a step but also it uh it just it, it, it makes it easier to take that first guideline out so we're gonna go with like a super high taper on this one and uh basically we set that first line in with the clippers fully closed now we're going to go ahead and do the second guideline with it fully open we're just going to go ahead and follow that same shape that we created with that first guideline with the clippers fully closed and as you can see it's pretty much blended between the first and you know between the first guideline and second guideline however we'll come back in and touch that up a little bit later now i'm going to come in with my number one guard and I'm going to create that third guideline and I have my my clipper halfway open and that's something I've been doing a lot lately I haven't been opening it or closing it except for really on that first you know and second guideline anytime I have a guard on it for the most part I've just been keeping it at the halfway mark and I've been doing really well with this technique and uh, I think you guys should try it. I think it would really help you out. So whether it be like this, a number one guard, a half guard, a one and a half guard, a two guard, whatever. I've just been keeping it at halfway open. And what I love about this trimmer, I know some people don't like the notches on the side. Uh, you know, but I really like that notch system on the side because I can set it at halfway. And if I need to close it or open it. I can go right back to that halfway point on the notches and I know I'm right on the money where I need to be. And I love these clippers, they cut phenomenal. I would use the trimmers in this video, however, right before this video I dropped them and I guess I gotta replace the blade or something. So what sucks is I have two pair of clippers, two pair of trimmers and I drop both pairs of trimmers, which is horrible. But uh, yeah, so as you can see with that number one guard in the darker areas, I just kind of floated a little bit, not as much pressure. And I was trying to hit some dark spots to blend it in towards the top. But now I'm going to go in with my half guard. Once again, I didn't touch the lever. It's halfway open. And I'll just go ahead and hit at that darkest guideline, just trying to blend this thing all together. Uh, if I see dark spots up there, I'll go ahead and lightly tap with the corner of my blade and just uh, try to take those dark spots out to make that blend come together a little bit better. So once again, I'm going to attack mainly that guideline with that half guard halfway open. And then I can come back a little bit later with the guard off, but keeping it uh, with the blade halfway open just to touch out some little areas to remove any kind of lines or dark spots that I need to get out as usual I just kind of go through the system quickly I always come back at the end to do my detail work but I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, Andis T outliners and just kind of clean up that bald area and then we'll hit it with the shaver and you'll see me switch between my original Andis T outliners uh, cordless T outliners that I had modified black and then you'll see me use my new 
uh, GTX outliners like I'm using right now. It's just because one hits a little bit harder than the other. So these that I'm using now, they hit just a little bit harder, a little bit sharper. Um, and the other ones, they're just a little bit more comfortable. So I, I try to uh, use them in the areas that I feel like that I need to use them in. Um, however, usually in this area on the back of the neck, I would use the other ones, but I really wanted to get that line nice and sharp, mainly for this reason right here. I wanted to get these lines nice and sharp, and I knew that I was heading in that direction, so I grabbed these trimmers. But whenever you set a line in, a part in, a design in, make sure that when you hit that top line, you flip your trimmers over clean up that bottom line as well to make sure that everything looks nice and neat. So now I took the guard off and guess what? The clipper's still halfway open. So you, you haven't really seen me open and close the lever and do all that. I've just kept it halfway open the whole time except for when I created the first guideline and that, that second guideline. Other than that, halfway open. And, uh, and then if I need a little bit you know more pressure i'll use a little more pressure if i need to float it a little bit more i float it a little bit more but i'm really feeling uh this new system i have where i just leave it in the middle with all guards and for any cleanup work just like right here i'm just gonna lightly press down and just uh kind of go with the grain knocking out any little dark spots that i see and this is, uh, I think, a great technique, man, just to smooth the blend out a little bit when you're dealing with more of a coarse or curly textured hair. Now watch, same exact technique right here. Blade fully closed. I'm not using the trimmer, I'm using the clipper. Now we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And now if I wanted to go ahead and close it halfway, I could close it halfway and blend that close guard to that open or excuse me that closed blade to that open blade and then once i have it halfway open and i just blend that little bit out then i could put on the number one guard and do it ha halfway and then the half guard halfway but once i set it on that halfway mark i usually just leave it there and it's been doing a phenomenal job <clears throat> excuse me so now that I have that number one guard on there halfway open, I just kind of come in there. And once again, if I'm going up a little bit higher into the darker areas, I just kind of float it a little bit more, you know, use more of the teeth of the guard and the, and the uh, blade. And then I go ahead and put my half guard on halfway open. And then as I'm closer to the guideline, I press a little bit harder. I'm not too heavy handed. I like the clipper to do the work. But if I get up into a little bit darker area, then I just maybe lighten it up and use the corners a little bit. Now, because this hair is growing up in this direction, I'm going to flip my clipper over and just go down with it. Just smoothing everything out. Make sure that we uh, get that nice smooth blend. As you can see with detail work, I just use a lot of the corner of the blade. So now we're gonna brush down his front line up really, really good. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start in the middle and work our way out to the corners, getting the straightest line possible. And I'm not getting it too, too crispy right now because I know I'm gonna have to hit it again once I put my uh, color and fibers on there. Um, so I, I want to brush it down and get it nice and crispy, uh, but I just make sure that I have it nice and level so that whenever I come in, you know, with the color and fibers that I have it, uh, you know, looking nice and straight. So now we're going to come in, hit them up with the, the color, and then we'll hit them up with the fibers. And obviously I put some hairspray on it first and then I hit them with the fibers. Then I put some hairspray again and then I just go ahead and, and hit them with the blow dryer. The reason I like to do hairspray 
fibers hairspray with the blow dryer is because it gives it that sandwich effect it's really going to hold those fibers in for as long as possible and then i'll come back in and i'll just clean up the line again with my trimmers so now switching back to my original cordless uh, t outliners uh, i'm going to work around that the lip area on this mustache um, you know just because once again these i have these set for more sensitive skin so if i'm going to be around that lip area that's that's why i switch to that trimmer and we're just going to go ahead and line this thing up A lot of times right there in that area I would come down like I'm doing right now with the trimmer but if I do just hit it straight on like from this angle if I was just to hit it straight on that side part of the beard I was doing a little bit ago I just make sure I go up just a little bit uh, to make sure that bottom cutting blade isn't cutting my beard line lower than I want it to be. So we're just going to come in and basically, you know, you're going to create the shape that you want to create in this area. If he wants, uh, you know, that straight across or if he wants, you know, just to clean out the area, but keep it natural like we're doing. You know, that's that's all uh, customer preference. All right, we're going to clean up the back of the beard in the front, get that line as sharp as possible. And uh, see, this is what I was talking about. Usually I come down at the line from this area. For whatever reason, I decided to go at it, you know, just straight straight at it. Um, but if I do go straight at it, like I said, I like to keep my blade a little bit higher than the beard line. I like to keep that in consideration um, because if you're not careful, that bottom cutting blade, the moving blade, it'll take that line lower than you want it to go on that beard. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some more detail work. And this is something I like to do, either the blade fully open or halfway open. I just like to go with the grain. If I'm in the darker area, obviously I press a little bit lighter or put a guard on it. Um, as I get closer toward the balder area, then I'll give it a little bit more pressure. And then once again, we come back and make sure that our lines are crispy. One thing that I believe with all of my heart is I would rather have a decent fade with a crispy lineup than a, a phenomenal fade with a jacked up lineup. So I feel like that's that's something that we want to do. So once again, just doing a little bit more detail work. And, uh, and now I'm going to break out that tan colored pencil and we're going to get beamed on this thing. You know, just go ahead and throw a little line on there just to kind of give it you know some transition now he's a darker brother with darker hair so I like to use the pencil on him uh, just to go ahead and, and give that that separation you know that distinction in the in the lines and everything to make it pop just a little bit more and uh, and I believe he likes it as well so once we put that on there and hit it with the trimmer now we come back in with the razor and just really tighten that up and, and something I like to do is make sure that I smear all that color in because it'll give us that separation look the sharp crispy lines but we don't want to leave the color pencil on his face if you know what I mean we want to go ahead and just make sure that thing is blended and kind of give him that nice ash look we'll do the same back in the parts so that way those things when he walks out the shop they just pop and people are like ooh that's that's nice and I come back in and just make sure I hit every line get it looking crisp and sharp and boom that's the back taper that's the left side taper then I'll show you the front and the side the right side there it is that's the cut I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you got something out of it things looking pretty blurry I must say myself but until next time, hey, God bless you guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do that at S period craft underscore blends. Peace. I'm out of here.